All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to assemble the aftermarket Type R style front bumper. Um, so the first part you guys wanna put on is this piece. If you guys have the bumper painted, just be careful when you push these pieces on. Try and get both sides to kind of line up first before you put pressure to get the two clips right here to pop in. If you do one side and then you kind of force the other side, you're gonna you're gonna mess up the paint like right here on the inner part. So you get those clips to pop in. Two clips. This is the back view of it. You have two clips on each side, and then you have four on top. So after you get those two in, and you got that area clear um, where I told you to watch out for your paint, then you put pressure so that those four will pop in, which I'll do right now. After you put those four, you're gonna use two screws, one right there and one right there. Um, the screws do not come with the bumper for these screws. Uh, you just reuse the ones from your OEM bumper. No matter what model you have, two door, four door, or hatchback, you're gonna have some screws right there. You could take off those screws, reuse them on here. If you're reusing your same grill and transferring it over to this one, you're gonna take off all the screws right there. I believe you have uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, and then a couple of clips that you're gonna have to take off. I'll show, I'm, we're also installing a Type R grill for this customer, so I'll show you guys how we install the grill also. You guys, so the next part that you guys have is going to be these clips. You have two for each side, two for this side of the bumper, two for the other side, and four of these. One washer goes for each one. When we put these on, we pinch them a little bit together so they have a little bit of pressure when you put them on so they don't just fit so loose. And I'll show right, you guys. So you put them with this part face down and you slide it in just like that on both. Try and make sure that it's actually lined up from the top. Otherwise, it'll make your job a little bit difficult when you put it like that and you're trying to put that screw in. It's not going to want to go in. So just try and make sure that the thread is showing on all four before you slide the bumper into place. Um, the bumper also has clips, so when you slide the bumper, it has to be sitting back first. So it's going to slide back like that. You have one, two, three, four, five clips right here, and then you have a couple of these little clips right here that have to slide in and latch in right there to the bottom parts of the bumper. So you have three right here in this corner, three on the other corner. Um, we usually start with these in the middle first. Also, when you get this to clip in, this little like indentation right here has to fit into this slot right here. So don't have it more one way than the other because then that part's not gonna wanna push in and then the other clips aren't gonna go in, then you can't get the screws in. So we got those to slide in and got them to latch in place. Now we're gonna work on the three right there. Sometimes these, you have to get like a little flush screwdriver or something and kind of bend the tabs up or down from the back. Sometimes it's a little bit too high or a little bit too low where it, it misses a little slot and it will go up or go down. So just try and line that up while you're pushing it together. So you see how we got these three in. Um, it's a lot easier putting this thing together with two people than one person. Um, but it is possible with one person, I usually put them together by myself, but it's a lot easier having help. So, like on these tabs, these first two were not lining up. This one was lining up. These first two, I had to come from the back and just kind of push the tab up, like reach in between the bumper and the lip and just push the two tabs up right here so that they line up to that slot. And then push them until they clip in place. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. For these holes, usually you got to put a little bit of pressure right here to get it to line up. Once you get that hole lined up, this is the way that you put the washer in. So like I told you about lining it up, um, Make sure this lines up before you start it, otherwise you're gonna keep twisting it and it's not gonna go in place. So that's why sometimes it's nice to have somebody kind of putting pressure here to get the holes to line up a little bit better while you put them in and then tighten them up after. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install a Type R grill. 
Um, this also should work on like the SI style or even the OEM grill, uh, the correct way to install it so that when you install it, you don't end up having a big gap right here on top. So when I put them on, I just put a little piece of masking tape right here on top of each spot where the little clip's gonna go in. Just because sometimes these little clips on here are either a little bit too high or a little bit too low. If it's a little bit too low, it don't really matter. It's not gonna uh, touch anything where somebody can see. But let's say the clip is a little bit too high and they're not all gonna line up like, like into the hole at the exact same time. So let's say you have two or three of them that are going in, but then on this side you have two on top. If you put too much pressure and start pushing in the grill right here, one, two, or maybe even all three of the tabs on this side, depending how the bumper's sitting, um, the tabs could end up going towards the top and uh, scratching up your paint a little bit. So to prevent that, I just, I just put this uh, 3M tape. And then also when I put the grill on, and I, I try and get most of them to kind of line up, and first I try and get the corner ones. I get the corner ones, I put some pressure on it, and then I get a piece of masking tape and then just tape it on both ends. I do the exact same thing and then from there, then I start pushing in one side at a time. Then I start from this end and start going in this way. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys right now once I put it on and then the steps that I take to get that fit pretty good on this side. All right, so another part I forgot to explain is when you're putting this grill on, you have one little tab that's supposed to line up there on each side and then you have like this little nipple part that's supposed to go into this upper hole. So when you're putting it on, get that part in first, get it to pop in, get the bottom parts to clip in and then line up the top like I was telling you. So I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, so that's the part I was talking about that you gotta line up on both sides. So the way I do it is I put my hand around on this end and I put my other hand right here and I just push this way and then put some pressure on the other side with the grills till you hear that clip in place. And then also besides that, you need to put some screws on here. So you gotta take these screws off your OEM grill. I usually put all the screws on the bottom except for this one so that I don't put too much pressure towards this top part when I'm installing this new one. Um, just because I don't wanna put pressure right here and put this too close together. I usually save this one for last to put this one on once I get all these clips lined up. All right, so the next part of putting this bumper together it's going to be the fog lenses. If you have fog lenses from your OEM one, you could transfer them over. They'll still fit. Just make sure you put left on the left side and right on right side. So the way you tell the difference is a little cross piece. So you have two screws, a little cross part right there, and then like a little nipple or indentation or whatever right here. So we got to put those on before we put the caps on. So that's why we waited on that. Um, if you guys don't have fog lights and you want to add fog lights, we also sell like the lenses with the wires and switch that you could add to these bumpers. They're not that expensive. They're like 50 bucks with, for both lenses with the bulbs and wires and everything. So now we're going to start putting the caps on and we're going to finish up doing this grill. All right, so on this side, um, you have that little tab. Well, on both sides, you have that little tab you got to line up. When I've tried lining up one side before the other first and push it in, I, I usually run into a little bit of an issue with the clips not wanting to pop in all the way on the other end. Um, and then I gotta keep messing with it, which is pretty time consuming. So um, the last one I just did on this side, I lined up this side and this side, then I put pressure and all the other ones seem to go in fine. If they're not lining up, you might have to just get your finger or take the cap back off and kind of push this tab either up or down a little bit if it's not lining up. Or you could even put like a little flat screwdriver from the back end of this and try to just put it just so you grab the tab, not this tab, but the tab on the fog lens and lift it up or down. All right, so I did the, what I just told you guys, got both of these on this corner in and then those two tabs to line up. And then these other ones all seem to be lining up, so I'm just gonna apply pressure from the front of the cap while I apply pressure with my other hand on the back till you get all of them to clip in place. All right, so on the grill, like I told you, I popped the two corners in first and then I put masking tape to hold the clips in. And then I start lining up these tabs to go in place. Try and get them all lined up. Like if one's sticking out, for example, like this one's sticking a little high. If I was to keep putting too much pressure on this side, this tab's just gonna keep putting pressure against the grill and it's gonna end up uh, 
scratching up the paint, which you don't want to happen. All right, so on the back, you just want to get them lined up like that. You won't always hear a little click, but you should hear a click um, when the little tab that I was showing you guys is right here pops into place of the grill. You'll hear it clip in place on some of them, even though they all went in. Um, if you look right here, let's see. Well, right now, it don't look too bad, but once we pick up the bumper to put it on, usually you'll have a big gap right there. So I'm going to show you guys a little secret that we do to prevent that gap. And then, like I said, after you guys get those clips in place, then I put this screw on. That's what I. That's the way I suggest doing it. Also, when you guys put this piece of the grill on, pay attention right here because you see how you have this little groove right here. If you're not paying attention to that and it's sitting on top, then you're gonna have like a, an ugly gap right here. And if you don't notice that until you put the bumper back on, that's gonna suck. So just pay attention to make sure that this piece of the grill is lined up into this little indentation or this little groove right here. The, the grill has a little groove also that lines into there. But I've seen people that install them where they install them and that groove's like up here and that's why they end up with the ugly gap right there. All right, so I just cut up these little pieces of metal and I just kind of wedge them right here in between. I just use them there so they put a little bit of pressure so that uh, the little clips don't pop out and you don't have that ugly gap. I don't know if you guys have ever seen even some of these uh, Tension Civics, even with the OEM grills, seem to have a little gap in between the grill and the bumper most of the time. Because the way that they designed this, uh, they should have probably made it a little thicker and put two, three screws, something holding it like they did on the bottom. But they decided to put these little tiny clips, which even with the OEM ones end up moving or letting go of the pressure on there. So I just cut up these little chunks of metal and slide them in. That way it applies pressure and you don't, when you pick up the bumper, you don't end up having a gap that opens up that you're gonna have to push in every day so that it kind of holds. Um, so yeah, that's all the step-by-step -step how to install or how to assemble a Type R style front bumper cover and also the grill. recording. So this is the finished product, um, the emblem, we just put his that he already had on the other grill, just heated it up, took it off, stuck it onto this one. For the plate, just use some self taps first to make the hole and then put the original bolts on there. Um, now we're going to just peel the tape and put this bumper on. If you guys don't know how to remove the bumper, I'll put a link um, in the description below. I believe I made a video how to remove the bumper when I showed you guys how to install like some OEM fog lights on the tension. Hopefully this helps you guys out. I'll put the links below for the items that we use. We also sell these items, so I'll put the link below for them. Hopefully this video helped you guys out.